crew on the way home. If you, I think all of you came out with us this morning. No campers aboard. Uh, so same crew is on the way this morning. Myself, Paige, as well as Gaddy, and Stu, and Joe. And again, we'll be walking around in blue shirts that say Island Hackers. Don't hesitate to ask if you need anything on the way home. And just a reminder, as far as the uh, guidelines on board, we require that you wear masks on the way home. And then maintain social distance about six feet apart, or if you're sitting down, try to keep at least a bench in between yourselves and the next party. And wash your hands often. We'll have that galley open for you if not already. Uh, just one person at a time in there. If there's somebody in there, again, just stand by. And uh, feel free to ask one of the crew if, you're, if you want to stay put, that's fine. If you see one walking around, just ask them. You have to get everything down. But here we go. We're the ride. About an hour and a half home. And this is even nicer than the one this morning. If you can do that, we'll keep an eye out for wildlife along the way. Like the fall of the year, too. So. And they too love to, as you can see there, have fun. And if you thought the other dolphin liked to have fun, these dolphins really like to have fun. The bottlenose tend to be the most active dolphin. In fact, some of you may be familiar with the TV show Flipper. If you're old enough to remember Flipper. Flipper was a bottlenose dolphin. So they... I'm going to get through seeing the Flipper theme song. So, where was I? There, over there. 
at the flipper or the bottom of the dolphin. They're usually the dolphin that you see in TV shows and movies, stuff like that. Because they're one of the only species of dolphins that you can actually put in captivity and train them to do what you want it to do, for the most part. Other dolphins actually die pretty quickly if you put them in captivity. Uh, because as soon as you take them out wow. of their natural environment, they get depressed. So depressed that they don't survive. Bottlenose tend to be one of the only species of dolphins that can survive in captivity. And as you can see, they love to play with the boat too. Like I said, they're also one of the more acrobatic species of dolphins. That one of the most acrobatic in the world, actually. And we do see smaller groups of them like this uh, compared to the size of, of groups that we see of the common dolphin. But they're just as much fun, obviously. So sometimes uh, you'll find bottlenose dolphin can be a couple hundred pounds more than the common dolphin that we saw. Both have that single blowhole on the top there. Uh, believe it or not, that indicates to us that they have teeth inside their mouth. Having one single blowhole like that. And these dolphins, as well as the ones we saw this morning, are whales, believe it or not. to the lean whales or filter feeders. I'm going to pick up a little bit of speed though. As you can see, they're kind of creating their own fun here with just a little bit of swell that's coming in here. And they tend to get pretty active when we do. Common dolphins this morning jumping in the waves. Sometimes if these guys are too busy eating, uh, they will 